<laughs> oh, okay, wait a minute. I think we got something here, guys. I think this may be enough to at least tie it. Oh my gosh, guys, look at what I just got out of this roll. That right there is a very old wheat penny. Wait, Mr. Mr. hold up. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Quinn's Coins, your home for treasure hunting of all kinds. So today I'm back with Deborah, and we're gonna be doing another coin roll hunting competition. In today's episode, we have $25 box of pennies that we're gonna open up and look through. And then when we get down to the end of the box, whoever found the most cool coins wins the competition. All right, guys, so this box is actually pretty cool. Let's take a look inside here. First of all, most obviously, we have this loose coin right here, which I'm sure the reason why it's loose is probably because it has that massive hole in Lincoln's head, RIP. But take a look at this, guys. Up here, we actually have three enders, which is gonna make for a very interesting hunt. We have one Wheat Penny Ender, a 2009, and then a non-points uh, Canadian coin right there. So this is already six points right off the bat, but we have to figure out who's gonna get that Wheat Penny Ender and who's gonna get that 2009 Ender. So to see who's gonna get the Wheat Penny Ender, we're gonna play Rock, Paper, Scissors, two out of three. And the best one will get the Wheat Penny, and then the other one is gonna get the 2009. All right, let's do it, ready? Yeah. Rock, Paper, Scissors, shoot. Oh, I'm so bad at this game. Okay, <laughs> again, Rock, Paper, Scissors, scissors shoot. shoot. Okay. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Ooh, rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Ooh, rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh, there we go, guys. I got myself a weak penny ender. Okay. And there is your consolation prize, 2009. Uh, do you want this uh, Canadian ender as well? It might bring you some luck. <laughs> sure. All right, guys, with that being said, we'll go ahead and divvy up the rest of these rolls and get back to you when the box is all divided up. All right, guys, there you have it. We have the box divided up, 25 rolls a piece, so we can go ahead and get rid of that and get on into the competition. So just in case you're unfamiliar with how these competitions work, we go off of this score sheet. Wheat cents from the 40s and 50s are worth five points. That's basically what we're gonna get out of this one right here. It may be from the 30s, who knows, but uh, typically they're from the 40s and 50s. Anything older than that is going to be worth 10 points and then you can go down the list and see all these different types of coins that you could find and the different values that they give. Guys, of course, if you want to pick up one of these coin roll hunting plates masks to aid you in your own penny roll hunting or do competitions with your friends, you can head on over to quincecoins.com and I have them up for sale over there. You can see all these different point values as well as these key date and low mintage lists which are going to help you identify what's rare and what's not. And if you flip over to the front side, you have all the different types of coins that you could possibly find in a penny roll. It's very helpful, especially if you're a beginner. Once again, that's quincecoins.com and I'll put a link down in the description below. With all that being said, let's dive right in. All right guys, so I'm gonna start this off with that Wheat Penny Ender. I'm zoomed in here so you can see exactly what we're looking at. We got a sealed roll right here and uh, we're gonna be opening this one up and see what we're gonna get for a date. Leave your, your uh, guesses down in the comments below what you guys think. And then Deborah's over there uh, opening the 2009 Ender and uh, we already know what that's gonna be. It's gonna be worth one point. But uh, here we go, guys. This is actually looking fairly zinc. I see a few coppers mixed in, but let's grab that uh, wheat penny right off the end there. And uh, here, we'll grab that and zoom in for you. And what do you guys think that's gonna be? I'm guessing 54. Uh, what do you think, uh, Debo? Uh, I don't know. I guess also 54. What? Well, what's the fun in that? Well, okay, <laughs> fine, fine. Um, 53? Yeah, okay, I'll do 53. All right, so I say 54, <laughs> Debo says 53. Moment of truth. Three, two, one. Oh, it's a 57 Denver with some heavy corrosion over there on the right side, but it's still gonna count for five points, so I am up to five automatically, which is pretty cool. All right, so let's uh, keep on going through this roll and see if there's gonna be anything else in here for us. And in the meantime, Deborah over there is going to open her roll and reveal that 2009. So. What do you got on the 2009 over there? Oh, sorry. Let me find it real quick. Oh, I think it's right there. Oh, yeah. yeah. That is a pretty good shiny penny, though. I mean, it's yeah, at this it's point, pretty... it's like, what, 13 years old? Yeah. It's crazy. But, and uh, then it's one point? Yep, that's oh. one point. You got nothing else over there? No. All right, so yeah, I didn't get anything else in my roll either. The oldest coin other than that 57 was a 61D, which was just three years off, but uh, not gonna count for any points. So currently the score is Quinn five and Debo one. On to the next roll. Oh, I got a 2009 over here. No! <laughs> <laughs> just one wee penny and we will be tied. All right, so that is it for roll number two. And now we're gonna go ahead and get on to roll number three. This one's kind of weird. It looks like it's already been kind of torn into. Let's see what it's gonna hold for us. Oh, it's kind of messed up. Look at that. There's like coins are already peeking through. Uh -oh. I have no idea what happened here. But I don't see any like parking lot coins or anything like that. So let's see if it's got anything good for us. They're very tightly packed though. I'll tell you. I'll tell you what. And 
There we go, guys. I am seeing a Canadian. 100% on that, but it's not going to be worth points. That is it right there. Similar to the one that you found earlier, I think this is probably going to be like uh, late 60s maybe, maybe mid 60s. Let's flip it over. Oh no, it's 76. Okay, so a little newer than I thought, but once again, not going to be worth any points on our score sheet. 1965 and like 1964 look pretty old. They do. So yeah. then I always think that like, oh, that's something, but it's nothing. <laughs> yeah, I get that all the time, especially if they're like that dark brown yeah, color. Yeah, because then you're like, oh my goodness, is it old? And then you look at it and it's like nothing yeah, it's, special. it's disappointing. Yeah. <laughs> I have another Canadian over here. It's just 1994. So we'll add that to the pile. I can't. Oh, can you? <laughs> Oh, never mind. I think I think. Sorry, right, once we're in the competition, I can't. I can't give you. Oh, any okay. Yeah. I got you. I ask got me. You. Ask me out outside of after hours. You know. Oh, okay. <laughs> when is after hours then? I guess after we stop filming. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, guys! I'm not getting anything. Yeah. This is pretty crazy. Oh though. snap! Crackle pop rice crispies. Just as you were saying, you weren't getting anything. <laughs> <laughs> that looks pretty old. Yeah. Yeah. Let's. See, I don't know if you can zoom much, but yeah, we'll give it a shot. That definitely looks old. That might be pre-40s. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's flip that's that over neat. and see what you got. Oh, what like is? <laughs> okay, I didn't get a good good look at it there. 1944. Okay, so close to being pre-40s, but that's going to be a five-point coin for you. It actually brings you up to six, six points. And that means that we are tied, and I got nothing on this roll, so... That's a good deal, I guess. Well, I'm still looking. Still oh, that's true. Looking. Yeah, you have even more to look through. Because I'm pretty slow at this. No, you're good. 1940. Are you serious? That's sweet. 1940, very close to being a pre-40s. It's about as close as you can get without actually being there. So that's going to be another five points for you. Yeah. That's awesome. It looks pretty good, too, for a 1940. Yeah, pretty good shape. I mean, that's old. All right, so another five points brings you up to 11, and I'm at six. All right, guys, this roll here is looking a little more coppery. I'm hoping I can snag some points here and maybe uh, take the lead, but uh, who knows? I don't think so. Yeah, I guess we'll see. Oh, I got a 59 over here, but that's not going to count for anything, yeah, unfortunately. Yeah, I was going to say, if, I, if mine didn't count, yours didn't I count. I mean, yeah, that's how it works, I guess. <laughs> You guess. Oh, You're the one that made the I rules. I can't believe I got that uh, wheat penny ender and I'm still not ahead. That's that's crazy. And it looks like I'm not going to get ahead either because there's nothing in Sometimes this roll. Sometimes winning rock, paper, scissors doesn't do anything. Oh, wait a minute. I almost missed something. That's probably good that I was able to look a little uh, closer at these coins because I almost missed this 2009. Once again, we have another presidency. So that's going to give me one more point. Brings me up to seven. And now the score is 7 to 11. 7 11. Oop. What you got? 1941. Oh my gosh, you're pulling all the wheats out. That is crazy. Okay. And what is that, five points? That's five points, yeah. Here, let me take a look. I just want to see it because I haven't seen one in such a long time. 1941, Philadelphia. I don't think it's super rare or anything, but uh, another five points on that side. And I am still getting nada. Look at all these 60s, though. I'm getting all these, all kinds of 60s. I know, Small day, 60s large day. even like the 70s, like some of them look pretty old. Oh, so it's you just can't like... complain. You're getting all the weak pennies. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, but you're totally right. Like some of them, and then you spend some time just looking at it, and it's like a waste yeah, of your yeah. time. <laughs> oh, 2009. Oh, my gosh. 2009s, wheat pennies. What What design is it? I think that's... I oh, that's know. the first one. That <laughs> one's called uh, Birth and Early Childhood. That's the first in the series. So what is that, one? Yep, so you're going up to 17, and I'm still at 7, guys. I need a 10-point coin just to catch up. Or two wheats. I guess that would work, too. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. <laughs> I think we got something here, guys. Finally. I think this may be enough to at least tie it. Look at that. You see that? 1940? Yeah. And it's Canadian. So that is going to definitely be a King George the Sixth. Let's take a look at this. That is a very cool coin to find. Almost made it as a King George the Fifth. My gosh, it would be really cool to see one of those. But we'll go ahead and flip over to the obverse here so you can see that. That is a KG6 right there. It's going to be worth 10 points and actually going to... We're, it's, we're tied. Yeah, we are tied now <laughs> with that KG6. Now, I think I might have seen even something else. No, that's a 61 right there. 
I thought I might have had another older Canadian, but it's actually it looks like it's just going to be a uh, an American. This is the one I was I looking at right Canadian, here. Is it old? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> so yeah, we are tied right now, guys. You still have that roll to look through, so you might find something to pull ahead there. But that is an awesome find late in this one already, guys. I mean, we're almost halfway through at this point, so I'm happy <laughs> to see that finally come out for me. Oh. Oh, you got something? It's just a 2009. Oh but... my gosh, so you are gonna take the lead with that one. Yeah, it's just by a point though. Wait a minute. What is this? You see this? It's like super corroded. Whenever oh, the green I... one? Yeah, I mean, it's probably nothing, but whenever I find something like that metal detecting, I get excited because a lot of times, yeah, it's nothing. But like, I've found Indian head pennies that look like that before, especially if it's like a really wet area. So pretty cool to see something like that. I just saw a Canadian come out over here on the left-hand side, but it's not going to be older. Just a 1965. Oh, just very close to being a young head. Next to that is a 68. I thought it looked older as well, but no. <laughs> but hey, look at that. How did I miss this, guys? Look, I just got a young head Canadian over here. And that is looking like a nice five-point <laughs> coin right there. So that is actually going to give me the lead. Let's take a look at the date here in three, two one uh, not not super old and it looks like maybe it's been uh, a little bit corroded there but 1962 it's gonna give me five points and uh, I am killing it with the Canadians over here but uh, this one over here is killing it with the wheat pennies <laughs> I'm up to 22 devils at 18 I don't know if you guys can tell but I am quite the competitive one yeah your mood definitely changes when you're behind like when I'm behind <laughs> you're like oh you'll get one and then when... Like I try to be nice <laughs> and then like it backfires. Yeah, yeah. So now I'm never being nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 2009. Oh man, getting some points on the board. That is the formative years. Guys, we've gotten every single 2009 except for... Oh, you know what? I think earlier I said presidency. It was actually professional life. The presidency is the one that we have not gotten yet. And that is the rarest oh. one. Oh, wait a minute. What the heck? <laughs> So right there. Right at the Why end. Why is my pinky like that? Okay. <laughs> I don't think your hand takes up the whole glove. That's the problem. I got a wheat penny, guys. Nice. 1952. Okay. And it's got a mint mark too, right? Yes. D. Nice. 52. For some reason, I thought it was a Q. <laughs> I don't think that's possible. But uh, here, let, let me take a look at it. I got the zoom over here. 1952, Denver for Debo and she also got a 2009 on that roll. So that's a six point roll right there. I think that's the highest. Actually, no, I take that back because I had a 10 point roll with that uh, Canadian King George the sixth. But uh, still, that's gonna put you in the lead. So that puts you at 24 and I am at 22. So once again, king of the wheat pennies over here. 1952, is that something? Yes. Oh. <laughs> what do you mean? You just found one of those. <laughs> Okay, oh well, <laughs> I have a 1952 here. I don't know if you can see. Here, you want me to? Yeah. Yeah, let me do it over here. I got a little better. I'm going to keep looking. Zoom. Okay. Are you sure this isn't the same one you just found? No, I swear. Let me find the other one. Hold it's on. It's literally another 1952. Yeah, Denver. you see, this is the other one I found. Okay, I got you. You just found another 1952 Denver wheat penny right there. It's, uh, you know, average shape, average coin. I'm just salty, honestly. I haven't found a wheat penny <laughs> since that first one. You just got another five points. That You're up by seven at this point, so. Oh. Got something? Okay. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> you see what I'm looking at? What is that? 1930? It's older. Oh, your, hat, you. your hat's in the way. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, 1920. My. Oh, my gosh, guys. Look at what I just got out of this roll. This is actually going to give me the lead. That right there is a very old wheat penny, and it's actually going to be, yeah, 1920. Check that out. What? Yeah. So that is going to be a 10-point coin. It's going to put me three, what? three points ahead. Wait. Skr, skr, hold up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The older wheat pennies are worth 10 points, and that's one of them oh, right there. Oh, you're right. In pretty rough shape, yeah. honestly. I mean, that's a, that's a beat-up wheat penny right there, but uh, I will definitely take it. And uh, that is the oldest one out of the box today. I'm happy to see some oldies come out. It's been a while since uh, been
been able to find one. I really wish I could find one in the ground. I've been having difficulties with that, but uh, I'll definitely take uh, one out of a roll, and uh, especially if it's gonna give me the lead. <laughs> I got the 10 point coins over here, but uh, Debo over there has a whole bunch of five point coins, so things are still pretty even. I feel like that always happens, like where you get like all like the really big coins, like the really big point coins, but I always end up getting like the smaller point coins. Yeah, so that's true. Add up. Although in the first one that we did, you got that massive coin, which was the uh, the key date yeah. the buffalo nickel right at the end. That was like a 50 point coin. So I guess that's not always the case, but uh, yeah, this is, this is, there's been a lot of lead changes in this one so far. So definitely an interesting competition. I'm excited to see uh, who comes out on top here. All right, guys, so we're down to just five rolls a piece. It's getting down to crunch time here. Quinn over here in the lead at 32, Debo's at 29. So one five point coin could change the course of this competition. Let's go ahead and jump right into roll number five from the end. And uh, like I said, this is getting down to the wire at this point. So let's see what we got. I can't, I can't. Oh, I thought I had a really old one right there. It's like really messed up looking. I see a lot of good opportunity in this roll though. So I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a zoom for you guys and we'll see if we get something here. This one over so here looks super old. Right <laughs> hey, you know what? As soon as you get into it though, you might have something over there. Anyway, over here, we just got a 1960 on that one. It's not gonna be what I was hoping for. How about this one right here? This also looks kind of old. Nope, 68. Oh, there's a 2022. I haven't seen too many of those come out yet. Kind of cool to see. Oh, we got a Canadian right there coming out. We'll just add that one to the pile. Still got some chances over here for some oldies. Let's see what we got here. Nope, that's not gonna be anything old. 2009s could help us as well. It would put us back into that, uh, you know, tying range if Debo were to get like a 50 point coin. We just pulled out a 1970S right there, guys. If you're unaware, I do keep all of these. Uh, you're looking for the large date versus small date on these. I think m most of them are large dates. Uh, and the small date's actually a pretty difficult one to come by. So I'm gonna put that one to the side, especially because it still has some luster left on it. It's definitely a good one to see come out. And I think that's gonna do it for my roll. So uh, any luck over there? Nothing so far. Okay. So sounds like the score is likely to remain 32 to 29, going into roll fourth from the end. I notice you've gotten a little quieter. I feel like you're laser focused in right now. <laughs> I told you, <laughs> I get super competitive. Uh, I got nothing on my roll, guys. Three more to go. Let's see if Devil pulls anything here. No, I'm not. <laughs> well, I don't know. Last time I didn't think you would, and then you pulled a wheat penny, like three from the end, so. 64, nothing. Yeah. All right, on to roll number 23 for both of us. Some weirdness going on over here on the right side. See kind of like a dull looking coin which also looks like it might have some corrosion on it. Let's, let's just grab that one and see if it's gonna be anything. Actually, those, those two right here look kinda of interesting. Oh, guys, I think we are gonna get a coin here that's gonna have some points. It's not as old as I thought it would be. So there's that one on the right side, that's a 64. This right here is a young head Canadian, and I think that's gonna make it a lot harder for you, Debo, to try to catch up at this point, unfortunately. Let's take a look at this one here, see what we got for a date, three, two, one. Oh, it's another 1962. It looks much better on the reverse there with the date showing, but uh, I'll definitely take it. That's another five points. Brings me up to 37 and you are at 29. So you got to, you need what, eight points to catch yeah. up? Yeah, that's going to be tough. Especially yeah, it's with pretty just... much over. No, I wouldn't say that. You know, <laughs> you, you get a 10 point coin, you are ahead. Five point coin, I'd I say you're right back in it. But I think this may seal the deal here, guys. Take a look. <laughs> We got ourselves another wheat penny. Okay. And uh, you know, I think this this uh, makes up for the lack of wheat pennies in the beginning. I'll definitely, uh, I'll take it. 1957D, I think that's the exact same date as the only other wheat penny that I have. Oh wait, no, wait a minute. I got that 1920, I almost forgot about. <laughs> but uh, pretty nice looking coin, at least on the reverse. So I think that definitely puts me uh, ahead pretty comfortably here at the end. So unless you, you pull something no. like a miracle out over there. <laughs> Nothing. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll keep going. We each got two more rolls to go. Okay, guys, we got something here that looks kind of interesting. Another kind of like a dull edge. It worked for me last time when I pulled out that young head. Let's see if we're going to get it this time as well. Nope, this is completely, looks like just a zinc coin, so nothing there. 
I think the focus right now is going to be over there on Devo. Let's see if she can pull something crazy out here at the end. And uh, No I'll, pressure or anything. No pressure. <laughs> I'll keep you posted on what I'm finding as well. I'm sick and tired of the 60s. I'm just tired <laughs> of it at this point. It's just like, if you're not going to give me anything... Yeah, who Don't needs the end 60s? Up in my coin roll. With all their hippies and. Okay, calm down. Weird music and the Beatles and stuff like hey. that. Hey, hey. I love the Beatles. Yeah, who doesn't love the Beatles? You right? literally just <laughs> said. <laughs> I was joking. Oh, okay. That's what they all said. All right, guys. We are each down to our last roll. Debo basically needs a miracle to get ahead at this point. The score is 42 for Quinn, 29 for Debo. So you need at least, it looks like, 13 points just to tie. I don't know what we would do if we had a tie. Maybe another round of rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, anyway, yeah. So I still have coins to look through as well. Got to keep that in mind. But basically, you need at least, you need a 10-point coin and then maybe another 5-point coin to... Yeah secure the win and uh yeah so that's unfortunate it was definitely close for a very long time until the end there i was able to finally pull some wheat pennies up but anyways guys let's get into it here and see how this one is gonna end up all right so what are you seeing over there Deb? i think nothing. everybody's got eyes on you nothing <laughs> nothing so far eh? not at all all right well lucky for you i don't really see anything coming out for me either like literally nothing Hardly any coppers even. And getting down to the end of it now, I got nothing on that last roll. So it all comes down to these ones here. Nothing. I don't know, I see some kind of older looking ones. What's this one? Oh, it's a 79. That's literally all that happens. <laughs> okay, now. I got you. Okay, yeah, it looks like that is, wait, is that a 2000? No, 2019. Yeah. It wouldn't have really mattered much anyway. All right, so kind of an anticlimactic ending here, guys. This is our final score. Quinn, 42, Devo, 29. There's really nothing up for debate on this one like there was on the last one. So unfortunately, it looks like that's gonna be a loss. You are, what? One, one, and one, we'll say. You won one, you <sighs> kind of tied one. There's a weird thing in the last one, and then this was definitely a loss. So I guess that's how it goes sometimes. It be like that sometimes. <laughs> it really do be like that. It really do be dough. But either way, I appreciate you coming on. So thank you so much for coming on to the show and uh, giving us this some... This is a weird handshake. Absolutely. <laughs> yes, thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks for coming on. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Thanks for having me again. <laughs> Once again, guys, if you're interested in picking up one of the coin roll hunting place masks that we used in today's hunt, you can head on over to my website at quinscoins.com and I'll put links down in the description below. I also have nickel and silver stacking place mats up there for you as well. Also, if you want to check out some cool Quinn's Coins hats like this one here, then also go on this webpage and you guys can check it out there and rock some Quinn's Coins merch. I was gonna say or like this one, but this one's actually not for sale. There were only 10 of these made. But anyways, guys, that's gonna pretty much do it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to go down below and leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new because I post new videos like this every single week, always bringing you along with the hunts and having a good time. And as always, I'm Quinn, and this is Quinn's Coins signing out, and I will see you in, in the, the next, next one. one. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to... You're doing it again. <laughs> You did this last video, you're doing it again. In this episode, we have a box of 25 pennies here that we're gonna open up and look at. There's more than 25 pennies in here. Tw <laughs> Wait, you told me to say 25 I said $25 pennies. box. <laughs> in this box here, we have a box of $25. <laughs> no, there's no box in here. There's just penny rolls. <laughs> <laughs> what did you want me to say? In we this have a $25 box, box of pennies. You had $25. Why do I keep saying in this box? Okay. <laughs> On today's episode, we have a box of $25 pennies. Is each penny worth $25? Can you just... Okay. <laughs> this is definitely going to be the bloopers. Okay. <laughs> I can already tell. Just... <laughs> hold on. Okay, so can you repeat it one more time? We have a $25 box of pennies. $25 box of pennies. Okay. Yeah. In this episode, we have a $25 box of pennies. Just you say it. I can't. I can't.